All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got into is I got another small little collection I purchased off of eBay. Came in quite a big box for uh, the collection size. Uh, this is the collection that I purchased. It cost me $20 and $7.99 for shipping and handling. And uh, the reason why I bought it is it looked like there was a foil grave crawler, like a promo one, and then there's also uh, an oblivion stone in the picture. And uh, other than that, it said to come with some Dragon Shield sleep cards, and it just showed another scene of all the cards kind of laid out, or not all of them. Anyways, let's just open this up, see what's inside, and have some fun with it. Where is the scissors? I thought I had scissors. Here we go. Anyways, never buy collections online expecting to make money. Just do it for fun, uh, to expand your collection, and just really see some art and some stuff that you might not be aware of. Anyways, I have a lot of fun opening these up with you all. Hope you enjoy them as well. Hope you're all doing wonderful today. Oh, wow. Came in some sort of a uh, fat pack box with a whole bunch of rubber bands. Had no idea it came with the Fat Pat box. Uh, there was no mention of that in the description or anything. So let's just open it up and see. Huh. Thank you for your purchase. Foil cards are in Dragon Shield box. Interesting. So it looks like everything is in some sort of small little collection. I'm not sure what uh, what's going on, why they're in like weird little packets. Maybe he tr used to sell like little lots of them online or something. I'm not really sure. Let's just... Pull them out and see what there is. Looks like some newer cards. Some time spiral stuff. Very interesting. So there's just like a whole bunch of things. Interesting. Something from uh, Channel Fireball. 7% off your next order. 7 off. Ha. Huh. All right. You can go ahead and use that. Looks like uh did get a couple foil cards. These are from uh, a sliver. A sliver deck. They're like a sliver deck, like the, the foil one. I just know because of the symbol in the corner. So these are from like the sliver premium foil series. Uh, you can see like the little uh, symbol down there. So I get, did get one of each of those, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be a bunch of, uh, it'd be cool if there was like the complete sliver deck in here. Uh, it was padded extremely nicely, even with the silica pack. I could use that for my foils. <laughs> Whoever sold me this uh, really seemed to care about their cards and everything. Wow, quite uh, thick, a whole bunch of Dragon Shield sleeves as well, pretty sweet, my favorite sleeves. And then what is this, a 2000 or something, a fat pack box, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, let's just go through these little packets right here, I'm going to take them out of these sleeves. Very interesting that they're in sleeves, just want to open up one and see what it's about. I got a an Ambition card, Supernatural Stamina, Doom Dissenter, Wasteland Scorpion, Soul Stinger, Festering Mummy, so it looks like these ones are all from the same set. Splendid Agony. Hired Poisoner, great card, one black for death touch to 1-1. One, one. Deadly Visit, and Never Happen. So these are just commons. I'm not sure why these were kind of packaged this way, but we'll just open them up and see what's about. I'm going to make some piles of commons, uncommons, rares, and foils, if, if we have any of that stuff. Not really sure what to expect in here, uh, except uh, there was the Oblivion Stone and some sort of foil. Grave crawler. It looks like there's a full rare, uh, just a rare right there. Pull these out of the packaging. Very interesting. He individually put these in small little, or she put them in small little card packets. Bizarre. So let's just kind of go through them. Actually, let me pop all these out of the the little parts right here. What is this from? Rise of the Eldrazi. Is that what that is? Some Amonkhet stuff, and then some. Return to Ravnica, is that, or Guilds of Ravnica, some original Zendikar. I'm not sure, some Commander stuff. Rights of Reflection. Let's pop these all out of here real quick. Very interesting. I wonder if they wanted to sell these in small little lots, but it maybe just took too long for them. Or maybe I just bought, like, the remainder of their small little lots. Not really sure, but interesting. Card from Judgment. Very cool. Some uncommon. Some sort of rare from, I'm not sure what set that is. Okay, just see what we get. What is this? Uh, Ultimate Masters rare, it looks like. And then the Oblivion Stone right here. And Oblivion Stone right on top. So this is the pile that we're going to go through. Let's just see see what we get. Not sure what to expect. Got the Oblivion Stone. Uh, great card right here. Three generic artifact. Four tap. Put a fake counter on target permanent. Five tap. Sacrifice Oblivion Stone. Destroy each non-land permanent without a fake counter on it. Then remove all fake counters from the permanent. Uh, that's pretty cool. Destroy everything except whatever you put a fake counter on. Pretty sweet. It's a rare. Looks like I did get some sort of rare. Not what Sir set 
not sure what set this is from. Soul of Innistrad, 4 and 2 black, Death Touch. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Return up to 3 target creature cards from your grave to your hand. Uh, 3 and 2 black, exile it from your graveyard, return up to 3 creature cards from your grave to your hand. So pretty much some return from your graveyard to your hand with that card. So you got some sort of rare. Some Trove, 5 and 2 black. When it enters the battlefield, exile all cards from target opponent's graveyard. You may play, play land cards, uh, exile with uh, the Trove. Wow. You can play your opponent's lands. That's wild. You may cast non-land cards. Exile this way. Exile with show. You cannot cast more than one spell this way each turn. That's cool. So you can remove your opponent's graveyard. And then you can play their graveyard. That's pretty crazy. Nemesis Reason. Another rare. Three uh, blue and a black. When it attacks, defending player puts the top ten cards of his or her library into her graveyard. It's a pretty cool combo. Fill up their graveyard. Then use that. Pretty much play their whole graveyard. Got Mind Shrieker. One in a blue. Spirit Word Flying. Two. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. It gets plus X plus end of, end of turn where X is a converted mana cost. So cool. Some mill and some card. Uh, some power to it. Dinge of Wishes. Get some wishes there. Stormtide Leviathan. Another rare for M11. Island Walk is an 8-8 eight, eight for 8 mana. 5 and 3 blue. All lands are islands in addition to their other types. That's pretty cool. Makes all lands islands. So makes uh, it able to attack without being blocked. Creatures without flying or island walk can't attack. That's pretty cool. Got a Sturm, Sturm guys. 3 and 2 blue flying. Power and toughness equals to the number of cards in your hand. When it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Cool. Got uh, Keening Stone 6 generic. What is this? Rise of Eldrazi. Artifact 5 tap. Target player puts the top X cards of a his or library into a graveyard where X is an armor of cards in target player's graveyard. Wow. Fill it on up. Key to the city. 2 generic. Not sure what set this is from. Tap. Discard a card. Up to one target creature can't be blocked this turn. Whenever a key to the city becomes untapped, uh, you may pay 2. If you do, draw a card. Some card draw and unblockable. That's pretty cool. Fun art as well. So it looks like I did get a couple rares right there. Wasn't really sure what to expect with this at all. Got Time Crafting, Ship and Sand Mage, some uncommon stuff, Hellkite Whelp, some, uh, what set is this? One of the newer sets. Smelt Ward, Minotaur, Goblin, Crate Maker, Electrostatic Field to Wall. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it deals one damage to each opponent. Pretty cool. Goes great with a, a bunch of uh, instants and sorceries in your red deck. Consuming Fever, uh, Trial of Zeal. Battlefield Scavenger. It's like another rare right here. Uh, Xanted Swarm. One green creature insect with flying to 0-1. Whenever it attacks, defending player can't cast spells this turn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Vivid Revival. Four and a green. Return up to three target multipolar cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile it. Hmm. Gotta be for multicolor though. Glory Bound Initiate. One in a white human warrior, you may exert it. When you do, it gets plus one, plus three, and lifelink till end of turn. It's a three one that you can exert and make it a four, uh, four three, for two. That's kind of crazy. Got a mouth and feed. Two in a green. Create a three three green hippo creature token. Oh, you make hippos. In the aftermath, draw a card for each creature you control the power at three or greater. Cool. Looks like I got an older rare right here. Undermine. Two blue and a black. Counter target spell. Its controller loses three life. That's pretty sweet. Fun art as well. Looks like some underground fight going on. Got Abyssin's Judgment. This is some like sort of commander set or something like that. Heart Piercer Manticore. The Lord of Secrets. Whispering Madness. Two, a blue and a black. Each player discards his or her hand that draws equal to the greatest number of cards a player discards this way. Sort of like Wheel of Fortune. But different. Blood Hall Priests. Cool. Looks like I got some sort of landscape. Um, myriad landscape. Very beautiful green. Uh, adds colors to your mana pool. And comes in tap. Two tap. Sacrifice it. Touch your life for two basic land cards. That share a land type. Put them on a battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. Wow, look for two lands. That's cool. Got a land pile. Got some crossroads. Enters the battlefield. Gain two life. Cool life gain lands. Uh, turn Timber Grove. Uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one when it enters the battlefield. It's pretty cool. Created up the Accursed. Make some zombie tokens out of it. Some Evolving Wilds. Got the Refuge. A Baron Moor. Interesting. I wonder what deck this is. Bloodfell Caves. Cinder Barons. The Terramorphic Expanse. Jace's Assurance. Slitherblade. Helcom Sentinels. 
Floodwaters, uh, Illumination, Tome Scour, Scour uh, of Knowledge, Compelling Argument, Illusionary Wrappings, Scribe of the Mindful. Okay, got another rare rare. Solemn uh, Simulacrum, four generic artifact creature golem to 2 2. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for basic land card. Put that in, card in the battlefield, tap, then suffer, uh, suffer your library. When it dies, you may draw a card. So, some uh, ramp and card draw. Beacon of Unrest. Got a Hoof Prince of Stag. All right. Not sure what set this is right here. Two and two white. Field of Souls Enchantment. Whenever a non token creature is put into a graveyard from play, put a 1 1 white spirit creature token flying under the battlefield. That's cool. Got Horror Ring. Not sure what set that is from. Nature's Claim. Got Ash Barons. Set this in the land pile. Flower and Flourish. Got a Charioteer. Corrosion Grip. Split Second. Destroy Target Artifact Enchantment. Split Second's interesting. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana as abilities. That's pretty cool. Back to Nature. Defiant Great Maw. Crocodile of the Crossing. Bitter Blade Warrior. Greater Sandworm. Got a Monitor card. Naga uh, Vitalist Quarry Hauler. Colostopade. <laughs> a Stinging Shot. Interesting. Interesting stuff right here. An older card reader, Grip of Amnesia. One in a blue. Counter target spell as the controller moves his or her graveyard from the game. Draw cards. So either remove their graveyard or counter a spell and some card draw. Cool. From Judgment. Got Adept. Dream Twist. Some uh, Innistrad going on here. Some Zandikar, I believe. Or World Wake. Uh, Wind Rider Eel. Force Spike. Cool. Counter that spell unless the controller plays one. And it's only one blue mana. That's pretty cool. Wish Coin Crab. Negate. Get the Expedition. Omni Speaker. What is this? Uh, some sort of fairy soldier. Uh, they're blue or black. It's a 2 1 Flying Defender and Wither. That's pretty sweet. River Serpent. Whisper Agent. Trinket Mage. That's pretty cool. When it comes into play, search your library for an artifact card with the confirmed mana cost one or less. Roll that card, put it in your hand. If you do, shuffle your library. That's a pretty sweet card. Leapfrog. Got a, a Grave Guild Duo. Cool color. Dramatic Reversal. Mind Sculpt. Marrow Wis uh, Wist Snipper. Mirrorfolk Rogue. Comes into play. Target player puts a top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Cool. Cosmic uh, Cosmotronic Wave. Got a Bodyguard, a Locksmith, Fiery Temper, Fling, great card, Brutal Strength. Uh, got Zeal, Alchemist's Greeting, Violent Eruption, Malevolent Whispers, creepy looking art, the devil, devil's whispering to him. Supply Caravan, uh, Resolve, Sword Compan Sworn Companions, Gust Walker, Those Who Serve, Forsaken the Worldly, Right Crop Spearmaker, Wing Shepherd, in Okrata's name, Emberhorn Minotaur, a lizard, an initiate, blazing volley, arrows coming at you, electrify, person glory, impact, some hyenas laughing. I just think of the Lion King, desert, uh, manticore of the gauntlet, ins inspiring unicorn. Look at that beautiful horn. Got pitfall trap, cool. Uh, Sun home stalwart. Got a Guardian, the Culprit, Pack Beasts, True Heart Duelists. Interesting, uh, this collection right here. Protection of the Helmka, uh, Shepherd of the Sun, Caustic Caterpillar, Ooch. Uh, Shed Weakness, got the Stray, beautiful little cat, Giant Spider, got Ronas, the Cheetah, pouncing at you, the Kudu, <laughs> I've seen a Kudu before. Uh, cultivator, got the Grasp, Brawler, Pause for Reflection, uh, Vigor Spore Worm. Oop. Interesting little collection here. Got Siege Worm, got uh, Indrik, a Beast Dinosaur, giving that guy a hug. Hitchclaw Recluse, Mole Shambler, Pack Favor, uh, Farseek, wait, what was this one? Urban Utopia, Farseek from M13. Druid's Deliverance, Dismiss. Contra target spell, draw a card for four mana. Kanji of the Vanishing Touch, one in a blue from Kamigawa Defender. When it blocks a creature, return that creature to its owner's hand at the end of combat. It's a 0-3. That's pretty cool. Uh, sphere. 
be cool if they had flying. Brain freeze from, what is this, Scourge? Tiger player puts the top three cards of his or library into your graveyard. Cool. A Dampened Thoughts. Hedron Crab. Drowner of Secrets. This is a cool card. Tapping on top of your folk. You control a target player. Puts a top card of his or library into your graveyard. Night Veal Sprite. Timber Bend. Time Bender. <laughs> Whoops. Quest for Ancient Secrets. It's got some Grunts. The Shudder. Flame Blade Adept. Some Future Sight, I believe this is. Rift Elemental. Velocity Fire Urchin. Uh, Meg. Manacle Rage. Sir Strike. Command the Storm, Fearless Hardbringer, Luminous Bonds, the Hawk with Life Lincoln Flying for one white great card, Blade Instructor, Sparring Mummy, Thrash Crop Elite, Blinding Mummies, Mighty Leap, Righteous Blow, Take Heart, Candlelight Vigil, some sort of land right here, uh, Painted Bluffs, got Temple of the False God, add two land to your mana pool, only, control, only if you control five or more lands. Rakdos Guild Gauge, Rakdos Carnium. Interesting. When it enters battlefield, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. Why? Oh, because it adds black and red to your mana pool. Sun Scorched Desert. When it enters the battlefield, it does one damage to a player. It, and it enters not tapped. That's pretty cool. Great for colorless. Uh, Jaw Iroh's Refuge. Enters the battlefield, gain one life. Some life gain. Comes into play tapped. What is this? Cold Snap. Wow. Uh, enters the uh, return target land you control to his owner's hand. Salt Marsh again. Forgotten Caves. Got the Cycling Red Land. Uh, Monumentum. Three generic legendary artifact. Green creature spells. Cost one less to cast. Whenever a, you cast a creature spell, target creature control gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample on a turn. Wow. Mortuary Mire. Silent Dart. Rampaging Monument. Bane of Bala Ged. Hedron Archive. Not sure what set this is. Armillary Sphere. Embalmer's Tool. Most creepy. Whoa, look at this beautiful looking art. This gem. Four generic. Enters the battlefield. To uh, return two lands you control to this owner's hand. Add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. Wow. Sky Knight Legionnaire. Oomorg's Crusher. At eight generic, eight eight for Annihilate two. And attacks each turn if able. It's only a common. This is uh, crazy. Manolith. Lux River Shrine. About halfway through the first little pile we got. got Dark Steel Ingot, Indestructible, Relic of Progenesis. This is a really great card. Armor really Sphere. Eldrazi Devastator. H generic 8-9 with trample. Boom. Hand of Macro. These giant creatures. Absolutely fantastic. Nine mana for 7-7. Seven, seven. You may sacrifice four Eldrazi spawn rather than play its mana cost and has Annihilator 1. That's cool. Alternate mana cost. Rune Processor, 7 mana, 7-8. Seven, uh you may put card an opponent uh, owns from Exxon to that player's graveyard if you do gain 5 life. That's cool. Aetherplasm. Uh, Piston. Fist Cyclops. Just going to set these a little aside. Sonic Assault. Hammer Dropper. Uh, Shadow Storm Vitzer. Deny Reality. A split card. Integrity. And uh, Intervention. Conclave Guild Mage. Psychic Drain. Uh... Gear at Reach uh, san Sanitarium. This is a great card. Add colors to your mana pool and pay two tap. Each player draws a card and then discards a card. Really great for like a discard deck if you want to make your opponent discard cards and make them lose life to like Migrim or something. And you get some card draw. Pretty sweet. And you guard, uh, can draw a card as well. Horned uh, Kolpesh. Nimble Blade. Uh, Nef Crop Entangler. Would you look at that? Some. Uh, Interesting old card right here. This is from Tempest. Two generic, Altar of Dementia. Artifact, sacrifice a creature. Target player puts the number of cards equal to that creature's power from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's an old card. Uh, got a Time Bug. Got a Ulamog's Despoiler. Big old creature. Rakdos Locket. Meteor Golem. Great card for just removal. Can destroy any permanent, any non-land permanent. Boros Locket, Diabolic Tutor, Coffin Queen. Well, look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. It's a 1-1 one, one for 2 and a black. Cool Art Summon Wizard. You may choose not to untap it during your untap phase. 2 and a black. Tap. Put target creature card from any graveyard into play under your control. Remove that creature from the game if Coffin Queen becomes untapped or if you lose control of Coffin Queen. That's 
An amazing card. Cool. Siphon Mind. That's cool. Distress. Gorgon Recluse. Burglar Rat. Love that card. Comes into play. Each opponent discards a card. Boom. Metamic Vapors. Barrier of Bones. Dark Withering. Faith of the Devoted. Uh, got some Bats. Child of Night. Veiled Shade. Strands. Painful Lesson. Uh, got the Mummy. Blighted Bat. Wander and Death. Got some sort of crocodile, vampiric lancer. Got ramp, uh, rampant growth. One in a green. Search your library for basic land card. Put it into play. Tap to shuffle your libraries afterwards. Some tempest. I'll set that in the tempest pile. Got wish coin crab, devious cover up, unexplained disappearance, dazzling lights, undercity uprising, dark blade agent. Got a priest. Uh, got a gorgon. Cool card. A one. Uh, two green or two black. His death touch is a two-two. Fun. Got the peacemaker. When it enters the battlefield, each player gains four life for peace. Got the wood shaper. Got the troop. Uh, memorial to folly. Cool card. Enters the battlefield. Tap. Adds black to mana pool. Two and a black. Tap. Sacrifice. Return tiger creature from grave to your hand. It's a land. Um, Una queen of the fey. Interesting. Three. Any combination of three blue or black. Flying. It's a fairy wizard legendary creature. It's a five-five with flying. X and uh, blue or black. Choose a color. Target opponent removes top X cards of his or her library from the game. For each card of chosen color, move this white. Put a 1-1 one, one blue and black fairy rogue creature token into play. Remove cards uh, from their library and make some tokens. How cool is that? Got Secluded Glen. Would you look at that? Well, this is probably a good card. When it comes into play, you may reveal a fairy card from your hand. If you don't, it comes into play tapped. Adds blue or black to your pool. Great for fairy tribal. Uh, Jace's Archivist. Got some Guild Master right here. One and two blue from Scourge. Wizard Mutant to 1 1. When it deals combat damage to a player, that player removes the top 10 cards of his or her library from the game. Wow. Just not even in the graveyard, just from the game. And you can morph it. How cool is that? Okay, got Traumatize. Geast Horn Monked Vigilance. Three and uh, two white Vigilance. It's a star star. Power and toughness equal to the number of creatures you control. When it enters the battlefield, put two white uh, soldier. Two one one white spirit creature tokens are flying on the battlefield, so it immediately comes in the battlefield as a three three. Wild, some older interesting rares right there. Wasn't expecting any of that. Artful takedown, got thought uh, erasure, uh, discover into sparrow, Boros challenger, bacon bolt, mind funeral, we dragonauts flying in the sky, swarm guild mage, Golgari uh, fine broker, garrison a uh, sergeant. Black Sun Zenith. X and two black sorcery. Put X one one counters on each creature. That's crazy. Shuffle Black Sun Zenith into its owner's library. Cool card. Uh, Arch Fiend of Sprite. These are real thick, these cards. Five and two black is a creature demon flying with a 6-6. Six, six. Whenever a source of an opponent controls deals damage to it, uh, that source controller loses that much life unless they sacrifice that many permanents. Wow, and its madness cost is uh, two less for, for five men. You can get out. Got Never... In return, Swamp Mosquito, one and a black. When it attacks, it is a block. Defending player gets a Poison Counter. It's a zero one, and a Poison Counter from Time Shifted. Got a, a Planeswalker, Obnix, uh, Reignited. Three and two blacks of five loyalty when it comes in. Crazy looking demon guy. Plus one, draw a card, lose a life. Negative three, destroy target creature. Negative eight, target opponent gets an Emlyn. With whenever, you play, whenever a player draws a card, you lose two life. Wow, that's cool. So that's probably his deck, whatever this is. Got Boneyard, Parlory, 5 and 2 black. Sorcery, exile the top. Uh, up, exile up to 5 target creatures from a graveyard, and opponent separates those cards into 2 piles. Put all cards from pile of your choice on the battlefield under your control and the rest into owner's graveyard. Wild. That's pretty cool. Champion of Stray Souls, 4 and 2 black. Creature Skeleton War, it's a 4-4. Four, 3-2 four. black, tap, sacrifice X other creatures, return X... Target creatures from graveyard to the battlefield. That's impressive. And 5 and 2 black. Put it uh, on top of your library from your graveyard. That's pretty cool. Asylum Visitor from under the floorboards. Got Dark Imposter. What is it? 2 and a black. Vampire Assassin. It's a 2-2. Two, two, 4 and 2 black. Exile target creature. And put a 1-1 one, one counter on Dark Imposter. Dark Imposter has activated abilities of all creatures. Card exiled with it. Wow. Enhanced Surveillance Dissipate Angle Drake uh, The Sands Labyrinth Guardian Open into Wonder 
Sacred Excavation, Gale Strike, Zing the Seeker, Augur of Bolas. Got some card from Time Shifted, Clock Spinning. Got Muse Drake, Essence Scatter, Naga Oracle, Seeker of Insight, Scribe of the Mindful, Decision Paralysis, Avon Initiate, um, Radical Idea, Wall of Mists, The Eldest Reborn, great card, Sanitarium Skeleton, Zombie Infestation, one in a black, discard two cards, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token, that's pretty cool, it's a passive, you can just constantly discard your whole hand, make a bunch of zombies, especially if you want to fill up your graveyard, Grave Scrabbler, Murderous Compulsion, Nightshade Assassin, Nightshade Stinger, Beautiful Fairy Rogue, love the art, Spinal Centipede, Soul Manipulator, Memory uh, Slice, <laughs> Whispering Snitch, P uh, Pilfering Imp, Price of Fame, Lay Bear the Heart, Grave Digger, Bone Picker, Bingful Emmet, Trial of Ambition, Karul Swarm, and then Fretwork Colony. Those were all of the cards that we got just uh, in these random little packs. Got a nice little pile of rares, got a nice little pile, well, a very small pile of um, Mythics, and it is from some sort of set, some sort of like deck, some sort of probably Planeswalker deck or Dual deck or Commander deck, I'm not really too sure. And now let's just check out, I believe there are some foils in here. Let's just see what there is. And some nice gold dragon shield sleeves as well. I'll just set this here. Some dragon shield sleeves. And let's just see what we got. These are the, the glossy ones. I like the matte ones better myself. But sleeves are sleeves. And these ones are pretty good. Set these back inside the box. Then we just have a small little pile of foils to go through. And we'll, just, we'll see what it's about. Okay, let's see. And the last little pile I got, looks like I got something from some sort of, um, like, set, Decree of Annihilation. Let's just take these out of the packs. Eight and uh, two red. Sorcery, XLR artifact creatures, and lands from the battlefield. All those cards, all cards from all graveyards, and all cards from all hands. Wow. And if you cycle it, you destroy all lands. That's crazy. That's a crazy card. If only did Planeswalkers too. I'll set these in the pile of the foils. Let me take these out of here. Looks so like I got something from some sort of like master set. One in red, Fury Charm. Got Thrive. X in a green. Put a one one counter on each of X target creatures. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna pop these out right here. This one is double sleeved actually from some sort of Graveborn series, I believe. Let's take this out of here. Ooh, got Exhum. One and a black. Each player puts creature card from his or her graveyard onto the battlefield. That's a cool card. That's a cool card to have. This is um, one of the reasons why I bought this collection. It's a foil grave crawler. I think it's some sort of promo. It's just one black. It's a foil. It's a two one. Grave crawler can't block. You may cast grave crawler from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. Cool. Awesome foil. I think that's some sort of like buy a box promo. And then this is another mythic. This is probably the commander or something like that for um, this set. Got. Angie, a falcon wrath, one, a black, and a red, haste, and it has loot, tap, discard a card, draw a card, it's a 1-3, whenever you discard a card, if it has madness, untap it, that's cool, be great in a, a madness deck, looks like I got smallpox, from M12, two black, each player loses one life, discards a card, sacrifices a creature, and sacrifices a land, whole lot going on here, but you gotta do it too, got a obliterate, this is from one of those like vault series again, these crazy foiling right here, six and two red, can't be countered. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and lands that can't be regenerated. Wow, a whole bunch of board wipes right there. Cool. And then we got a couple more going on right here. I got a card, Wonder. Some of these were double-sleeved. Just take them out. Some, like, Ultimate Masters, I think. Three and a blue. Creature Incarnation is a 2-2. As long as Wonder's in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have flying. That's cool. That's really cool. That's a pretty cool card. So I got some sort of foil. Hellkite Whelp. Boom. Got Reality Shift Foil, it looks like. From, what is this, Dragon's Maze? One in a blue. Exile target creatures. Controller manifests the top card of his or her library. Pretty cheap to exile it, but they got to manifest the top card of the library. So I got Lower Scale Codal. Cool foil. Got Mind Crank. Two generic. Whenever an opponent loses life, that player puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Wow, make them lose life, make them lose their library. Then the last foil I got is Innocent Blood. Each player sacrifices a creature. How cool is that? One black mana to sorcery. How sweet is that? 
Anyways, awesome little collection. Got a nice little pile of foils right here. Kind of random. A couple from like some of those interesting box sets. Awesome foil promo grave crawl. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. The Cree of Annihilation and um, Obliterate. Just crazy. Just removal spells. Got some foil lands from the Sliver series. Um, a nice little pile pile of rares right here. And I got uh, some of the older cards as well, not really sure, kind of all over the place. A lot of them are from that some sort of set, some sort of commander deck, I believe, but I could be wrong. And a small little pile of mythics, and a very small little pile of cards from like uh, Tempest. Bizarre. And a bunch of interesting lands as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to open this up and check it out with you all. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you all in the next one.